was a season um, that had a lot of twists and turns. You know, obviously, I thought we got off to a pretty good start. Um, had some pretty good wins at home. I thought we played well at home all year. I thought once we hit conference, we, we did get off to a good start, and then we hit a little bit of a rough patch. Um, down the stretch, we just couldn't get the results we needed to put ourselves in a good position in the conference tournament. And, um, and really, our season ended at SMU in a heartbreaker. 23 seconds left in the, in the match, and, and we gave up the game winner. And so, you know, I think it was disappointing in the way the season ended, but certainly there were some good moments throughout. First of all, it's very deserving. Obviously, John didn't have the season that he wanted to have. Um, you know, last year he scored, you know, double-digit goals, and he was preseason player of the year. Injuries really derailed his season a little bit, but he did come back, he did contribute, scored, scored some pretty good goals. But Alejandro, I thought, really stood out for us offensively. You know, led us in scoring, scored a lot of critical goals for us, um, um, was really our, our offensive catalyst, to be honest with you. And it was really great to see him have the senior year that we all knew he could have. Emmanuel was basically our midfield, um, uh, was the guy we played through in midfield. You know, he was a fifth year senior, had been in the program for a number of years and finally got a chance to be injury free and uh, played real well. It was good to see him get recognized. And then Adam just had a great freshman year for us, you know, um, had almost, uh, I think almost double digit assists, was great on restarts, you know, um, scored a couple goals for us and had some really key assists, you know, in big games for us. And, you know, he has a really, really bright future and we're excited to, to see how his career progresses. We'll miss our, our six seniors, but we certainly feel the future is bright. You know, obviously um, in goal, uh, you know, um, Alex Gill comes back, Pedro comes back, who started most of the year. You know, Vinny comes back. You know, Peyton uh, Mari did a great job for us at right back in midfield. You, you know, you mentioned it before that uh, Adam comes back. Um, we also have Nick, who probably will move into midfield. Um, Christian Hay comes back. The big thing for us now is, is to replace our front three and, and, and Ben Keen as a center back. And we're hard at work, you know, going out there and identifying prospects. And, and we're excited to see how this team comes together this winter and spring. And then with the addition of, you know, obviously the attacking pieces, I certainly feel like we can, we can, um, we can look to build on this season and hopefully down the stretch next year, we can get it done and find ourselves in a good place in the conference. A number of games stick, stick out. Probably the first game beating NKU, you know, in the last minute of the game after they tied it up because we had had such battles with NKU throughout the years and hadn't beaten them in three years. So it was great to get that result. The comeback victory over, um, uh, over Temple when they were nationally ranked, coming back from being down 2-1. I think the guys are going to remember that because I thought it gave us great belief. And then going on the road and beating a excellent um, Oakland team 3-0. I thought was another good high moment for us. So there's certainly a lot of good moments to take from the team from this season. And I just feel, feel um, disappointed that we couldn't really have a better season for our seniors. One, we have a great atmosphere. I mean, uh, you know, our fans come out and the students come out and they give us great energy. And I think the guys feed off of that. One, two, you know, it's a unique atmosphere because it's got the track around it, it's got the field, you know, it's in the middle of campus. And so, you know, I think teams sometimes come in and maybe feel a little bit intimidated, while our guys, I think, really feed off of just playing at home. We have a lot of confidence at home. And so I just think it's a great environment for college soccer. It's in the middle of campus. We get a lot of people who just walk by and that, you know, stop by and watch the game. And then our fan support is tremendous. So we think it's a fortress and we want to continue to have a good record at home.